Welcome in to Shade House. Shade House is the place where we have six people who all live together. So last time, Seance Knowles summoned back Bone Hilda, and they kissed up in the Seance room, and they were both girls. Seance thinks that everyone's out to get her. She's very paranoid of everyone. And her time at Shade House may be coming to a close because she's so afraid of literally everyone. Stella went and hung out with Wendy at Wendy Wendy's house and made some grilled fruit, but not before dropping some on the ground. Granola is haunting the Shade House, chilling every single room. She's been walking around, like making everybody uncomfortable with her nonsense, but she's keeping a close eye on Poncho, who's just vibing, having a good time. I think Shade House is really enjoying having him there. Jolene went and did some karaoke at one of the bars in the city. I think they're getting much better with their singing. They're gaining more notoriety. So we'll see if they can actually make this like a full-time career. Every time they go out and sing at the bar, they make more money. So maybe this can be something they do constantly. And New Year's is coming up this week. It should be time for a new skill day and we'll get to see what some of the Sims want to accomplish in this next year of their time in Shade House. Let's see what happens this time in the House of Shade. Get in here, get down and boogie, ma'am. It is New Year's Eve. She would like to make some resolutions. So let's go ahead and set that. Practice singing, can we do that right now? Let's make a resolution. Let's have them all do that. So uh, she would like to complete an aspiration milestone. He would like to, I mean, he can't get any more fit. He can try to raise a skill or get promoted. Maybe getting a promotion could be something that could be fun. We haven't tried that as a skill yet. <laughs> what is a lot of nonsense doing up here? She's eaten so cleaning frenzy. Neat Sims can get worked into an energetic frenzy when the house has gotten dirty. I am extremely curious what that is. Actually, let's set her resolution first. And then we'll do that. So she wants to raise a skill probably. And then we'll do a cleaning frenzy. Seance Knowles would like to get a significant other. That's probably going to be Bone Hilda. I'm so sorry to interrupt this intimate moment. Jolene Cuisine would like to raise another skill and we'll practice singing as soon as we're done in the shower. I feel like Herman should try to accomplish a milestone. So let's try to do that. I want to see what this cleaning frenzy is all about. Let's see what this is. So we made a resolution for everybody. They're all very excited. Oh, Poncho! Poncho! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, wait, we gotta say hi to Poncho! We gotta stop our cleaning frenzy! Let's pet Poncho. Poncho wants attention. Look at this little bee! Look at this little bee bee! And we can request a song. And also we can Simstagram. Poncho want that food, which makes sense. Aw, oh, look at the bee bee. So she would like to achieve level three rock climbing, go on a hiking trail, encounter a, sp a forest spirit. So we're gonna have to do quite a bit in order to accomplish this. That's not gonna happen today. We do need to count down till midnight. Actually, we can. We can probably do something today. Does she work? Hopefully she doesn't. We're gonna send Stella to the gym and we'll take Alexander with us because he's a hot piece of man meat. And then I think we'll also we should, for the lulls, we should invite Juan. We should also get Herman there just to see what happens. And let's call Samantha Karan. She could probably use some exercise these days. She hasn't worked out in a while. Okay, so Juan Nightstand is out here. Tits to the wind. It's in the freezing cold. Like that fawn in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Except without the antlers and the weird feet. Okay, let's do the, I guess we're pushing the limits right now. 
Here Herman goes, trying to stunt right now. Well, this is cool. They can work out together and kind of encourage each other. You gotta show this Merman who's boss, who's the gaslight gatekeep boss binge in this here shade house. Oh, Herman, baby. That is not how you're supposed to do it. He has that dummy to catch him, though. He is dummy thick. Oh, Saturday's here. Oops, Saturday is stinky. <laughs> Juan is in the gym, tits out to the wind, drinking a martini. <laughs> Honestly, this is the chaos that I came here for. Okay, so she's at, at level one of rock climbing. We can come back tomorrow. I don't want to push her too hard. It's Avocado! Avocado came to the gym. Samantha Karan is in here. She's just hanging out in her full daytime dress. Going to the gym. You know what? I'm going to hang out with Samantha. Samantha said, I was looking at the vibes, and honestly, I don't really feel like working out today, so I'm not going to. Stella is very sad about something. Stella was upset from feeling guilty around someone nearby. Will she ever be able to throw a party with how badly that one went? A horrible party. I wonder if that was from Saturday. Herman is really tense right now. He's desperate for some fun. You know what we should do? And your Oof. neck is sore? Let's call over Joaquin. Cancel that. We're gonna call over that that guy from the bar, Caleb. Caleb, I think, is a vampire, low-key. Let's make the neck worse. Let's take care of the flirtiness and the fun thing. Caleb's gonna be right over. We're gonna meet him downstairs. And we're gonna take him upstairs. Get down here. Ah! Oh! A vampire! Caleb is absolutely a vampire. Is Herman about to be a merman and a vampire? Hi. You look like a Fallout Boy reject. Jolene, you, you really keep getting in the middle of everything. Come over here. Come sit down. Over there. Far away. Okay. This is to you, friend. New vampire friend. I hope you enjoy your time here. Let's kiss and bone down. This was the bartender from the karaoke the other night. I love this outfit, though. Is this someone that I've made? Oh, no, he's not into it. I thought we had a thing. Oh, he's like, hello, look at my butt. Isn't this so good? This is a great way to tell a vampire. Not only do you want the suck, but you want to get the booty ate, too. Now that you've presented your best asset. Too bad. Let's try something else. Jolene is turning up to this tea, though. They are turning up. You know what? You can go home, then. Uh-oh. Bathroom emergency. Oh, no. Not on the couch! Please, not on the couch! Not Jolene clapping to Herman, pissing himself. Okay, can you go home? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Hi, I would love it if you left. Respectfully, I would like to say hi. Dag, a toast? Up. You're stepping in the piss, Jolene. Sub Thank you. Samba. Bye, get out. <laughs> Jolene's stepping in the pee. Uh -huh. Oh, we gotta go watch the we gotta watch the countdown to midnight. We gotta watch it, come on. Happy New Year! <laughs> And that's it. Look at Poncho just passed out over here. Oh, she's just doing some sit-ups, trying to get her fitness in for the new year. She's starting off those resolutions early. Yeah, you're such a good boy. You're such a good bee boy. Yes, you are. Yes, Poncho's wearing a cute little bee costume. I think we might, I think we might change the costume right now. Yeah, let's swap out. Let's be a taco cat. Let's be a taco cat for the new year. There you go. Come on, we're going to switch you out. Hey, look at the taco cat. <laughs> we should clean up the box, too. It's pretty gross. We're going to go upstairs. Summon Bone Hilda. We really want to do something fun for the new year. There she is. Hi, ma'am. Let's flirt a little bit. It's been a couple of days. How are you? Good to see you. Let's tell her how we think everyone in the house is out to get us. Bonehead is like, you know what? I actually did hear 
that one girl you sleep next to, she was planning on shanking you. So, Seance Knowles is gonna come out here and bone down with Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda's like, are you sure we can come in here? I'll clean this up later. I am the maid. <laughs> She's feeling energized. <laughs> Time now at Shade House. Okay, so Jolene just needs to get their their piano up. Remember Samantha Karen would jazz up the place all the time. Let's check in on Herman. Maybe we shouldn't have checked in on Herman. Okay. Awkwardness intensifies. Herman's like, this is a bop. I'm getting a groove on in here. <laughs> I wonder if he can get down to this. I hate this moment. I feel like this might be one of the most cursed moments that's ever happened on this stream. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go over here instead. All right, well I'm gonna take Stella to the gym again. I'm gonna go ahead and practice our uh. Let's, let's go ahead and leave. We have to leave. I have to leave right now. We're going. Here we go. He's honestly so hot. His dumpy is too much. He could hit me like that and I'd say thank you. Actually, I don't want to be hit like that. I don't have I don't have like that type of moment going on. That's not my kink. I'm here for it if somebody else is here for that kink, but it's not mine. Wendy wants to go over to her house and hang out. Do we want to hang out with Wendy right now? We've hung out with her before. You know, I I'm good, Wendy. Last time, I, I cooked up your fruit. We'll hang out next time. Okay, you better shake that booty. <laughs> Just a little bit of booty shaking, though. You know what Herman hasn't gotten to do? Because it's been winter this whole time since they moved in. Herman can actually go swimming now for the first time in a while. I mean, he kind of got to for a minute. Okay, I would like Herman to go swimming because he hasn't gotten a chance to. Come on, it's the sun's almost going down. Get out here, you sexy merman. Oh wait, someone's late for work. It's Stella. I hate this. Can I change this? I'm gonna change the station. Who put it on here? Let's change the cottage core. I'm tired of that. You gotta go to work. Please, go to work, ma'am. You're gonna get in so much trouble. Herman's getting a phone call. It's one nightstand. He wants to come over and hang out. We should go to the beach next week. Let's go to the beach. Eat. Let's go get away. Oh, he's upset. He's having a bad time from Herman's preferences. Their he's dislike extended periods of time will slowly be driven mad. What? Did not know that. So Juan's been spending a lot of time here at the house again. He's been like coming back. At hip bump. Let's freaking hip bump. We have to swim at the beach. We're going next week. I honestly think that Juan is trying to get some spotlight again. Juan is definitely trying to get something. Invite to stay the night. Woohoo. Why are you upset? Why are you upset? Do you wanna do you wanna do something fun? He literally just came over here to get boned down. What? Is Saturday not helping you? His name is Juan Nightstand. <laughs> There they go again. Good boy, Poncho. You're such a good singer. I think that is going to be it for this episode of Shade House. A lot happened. We had new skill day. We had New Year's. I'm concerned about what's going to happen with Juan. Is he going to try to move back into the house? Like, is he done with Saturday? Did he get married and decided that was too fast of a shotgun wedding? I got to go back. We're seeing a lot of growth with our Sims. We're seeing, we're seeing Jolene cuisine increasing their skills so that they can actually start 
finishing their aspirations. Next time on Shade House, we're going to go to the beach. We're going to see Herman swim in the ocean because apparently that's the thing we're missing out. So we're absolutely doing that next week. Thank you for watching this episode of Shade House. We will see you all next week for more Chaos Shade House. <laughs>